Hello, this is Daz. It's January 31st, 2017. It's 3.40 in the afternoon in Olympia, Washington. And uh, I'm going to try and do a cave painting simulation in 10 minutes. So I've made a piece of tan paper. Remember, you just pick a color of your paper, say like so, and then you touch the letter P and it changes it. So uh, let's get with more to a yellowy ochre to start with. Uh, let's see. P. Uh, let's get down here and let's go back to that creamy color just so you can see how these work okay and I'm gonna go towards the center it makes it lighter and a certain shade okay let's start with that now we're gonna take brush number eight right here which is that Conti Crayon looking brush. We're going to dial up a couple of uh, tones and we're going to start to make the cave very quickly. So this is, excuse me if this doesn't come out perfect because I only have 10 minutes, but you're going to get the idea of how you can do this yourself, see? So you got um, some of this kind of orangey. I'm just moving it around. I have the drying on. Okay, so there's that. Now this is the beginning of a cave wall. So let's take a lighter tone and let's go over here. It's very interesting how you can do it. And then you can even go real big, not so big, but like so, and just kind of this way your texture marks and stuff are all different sizes and shapes, okay? And that suggests your cave wall. You might put some highlight pieces in. Even like a white if you want. And see what you get with each size brush. Because you may not like them real big sprite or whatever. But let's say that's our cave wall. For now. Alright? And we're going to rough in a bowl. So I'm going to go to black. I'm going to get myself a decent darkness to the line. And I'm just going to sketch very quickly. Uh, let's go a little lighter. Uh, a line, like I was doing this as a cave person. So a little more meat to that line. Okay. So now we see there's something forming. A touch more light uh, pigment. Okay. And I'm going to kind of make a quick bowl. So uh, this is modern man style just to get it down. And then we'll caveman style it up, providing I don't get cut off in 10 minutes. So. Let me do some of that. Just a couple of legs. Just thinking this out. A couple of cloven hoofs. Uh, a butt. No kidding. And this leg might come over here like a muscle this way. Remember, you can do your dry, gesture drawing if you want in there. You have a belly kind of thing. Uh, tight back. Okay, some kind of a, a bull or. Yeah, a little hump up there, kind of comes down with the head, maybe an ear. You know, if you did this for three hours, you'd have an awesome thing. But, uh, and then the front of the head, maybe like so, kind of square shaped, you know. They have that kind of a funny nose, a mouth, I'm not quite sure how the bowl looks, but something like that. This would be more pronounced angle in, kind of. And then I'd have a horn, you know, like here. So we'll follow that. And we'll have an ear kind of here. We're just doing a quick sketch. We just want to get this body in. I got time. <laughs> Big chest, you know, fertility, macho. Uh, cave painting that 
you know, is going to give us the power to go out and kill this beast for dinner. And, you know, the spindle leg, and then the big part of the leg, and another spindle leg, and uh, the cloven hoof kind of thing down here. Okay, now let's kind of rough that in. Let's get a nice shade of an ox blood. It's maybe like so. Not too dark. Make our brush bigger. Let's rough in a head. See, we're getting the pigment of the cave painting people. So you gotta kind of jiggle it, put different pressure on. Build it up. We're starting light because I want to just see how it looks before I get in there and go heavy. It's easier to take stuff and add to it than to take stuff out just when we have time restraint like we do. Ten minutes. So I'm kind of cave painting here like it was, you know, blown out of a tube or dust. They're throwing at the wall. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to go back to my dark black. I'm going to try and hit up a good outline here as the meter ticks away. So I might come back. I might do this horn. I might do this ear. I'm going to try and give some character to our shapes, you know. And there's going to be some kind of a bull's eye in here, a little pun, and a bull nose, you know, face, a ridge, and we're going to have uh, some bolder lines, some chest hair, just starting to build it up. So then I might take a bigger line like that and not quite as dense and brush in the hair. I might build this up as the ox blood. So uh, let's get that tone we like. Maybe dark it here. Like they do on a face usually. Yeah torso, some in his ear, a little bigger so we can speed this up. Okay, when you're doing your own cave painting, you'll be able to play with it, but we're using brush number eight, remember, for this chalky look, and I'm picking something that I think it would apply to, which is this cave painting. Okay, this is Dennis. <laughs> Does the modern cave painter. Alrighty. So let's let's pull him up a little. Some hairs. Come between here. Maybe come along line like that. It's gonna end here. Bring it down. Okay. And Pump on the back, some here. You know, we've got the feel of a cave painting. If we were going to actually copy one, it would be something else. But the idea is that you can do this yourself. I'm putting one down in 10 minutes, that's for sure. Just a little something. And, you know, have this come up here. This line can come down here, torso, like they do a lot of those angle lines, if I recall right, and then something in here. You can uh, shape. And then shape from here. Bring that up. And now, darken all this hair. Let's, let's go big on the brush. 